Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you one way to use washi tape in your art. So here I have a drawing that isn't completely finished, and I'm going to use some of these washi tapes to look at just a little more finished. So I'm going to use it for her dress, and also like a little border on the background. So we're going to do the border first. So we're going to take this tape, and you're just going to pull it off to the right length that you want and just put it where you would like for the border to be. It's all right if it overlaps the drawing. What we're going to do is then, after we have the tape placed like this, take our X-Acto knife or a uh, just like any sharp X-Acto knife kind of thing. It doesn't need to be exactly like this. Just be very careful and what you're going to do is you're going to follow your art lines and just cut those lines like very gently. Don't want to go too far, you don't want to go underneath the paper, you know, you don't want to cut through the paper, but you're going to cut the tape, and usually with washi tape it's pretty easy to just very lightly do it. Um, I made the mistake of doing this where there was a lot of details that need to get cut out, so yeah, like a little piece of hair and curls, foot and tail and stuff, so yeah. But as you can see when that's done, we have a nice border. And what I do is I just go through and make sure to press everything down thoroughly to make sure it sticks before we go on to the next. So the next one we're going to be doing is this tape for her dress. And a lot of times you'll see people do it vertically, which you can do. But with this pattern, I think it'll be better. Oh, no. It's normally horizontally. We're going to do vertically this time. But normally I see people do it uh, horizontally. And uh, as long as you press lightly, just to get it to stay on the paper and not like trying to permanently press it on there, you should be fine like readjusting it and placing it. And so again, you just fill it up to like how much you want to have used all the way, all your edges close together. Like, you know, a, a little overlapping is probably not too bad. And then uh, just like with the background, you now cut out the lines. And I also put some on the bow with some of the excess uh, tape from other areas since it was very tiny areas <laughs> but yeah um, and from there you just cut out all the areas you don't want to have the pattern on it so like I was cutting out the collar of her dress and her arm obviously in the wing and uh, the belt on her dress as well so yeah um, a lot of the times with washi tape you'll have kind of as you can see with these kind of transparent they're not completely see-through, but they do have new ones that are see-through. And so those work really well for obviously drawings like this because you can see the lines that you're cutting on. Um, there's also other washi tapes, uh, like I have craft paper washi tapes, which would not be ideal for this because you can't see your lines then. They could be good for something on a background that like, or an edge, like if you have like a raw edge on a painting or a drawing that you just want something else on there and not just that, so you do that. And then from here, what I do is I then finish it, which I start off with brush pen, but the uh, washi tape that I chose for the dress is very waxy, and so the brush pen can't go over it very well, and it started to just like rub off, and so I eventually change back to what I originally drew the picture with, which was a micron, and it for some reason worked better than the brush pen, so... Yeah, there we go. That's where I change over. But uh, it just really matters on what will work on your washi tape, what you want to use for finishing up the drawing. You could even do this with like colored stuff, as you know, um, as you can see. Like I put like a little pink in their cheeks, but uh, I would recommend probably waiting to color it until after this, just so if any paper gets ripped up or anything, while you are removing the excess tapes and whatnot, um, you know, you don't remove color that way. But yeah, so this is one way that I know how to use uh, washi tape with your art. There are a few other ways, um, but this is like one that I've been wanting to experiment with a lot. So before this, I've done one other picture that was uh, also like that, and this was right here. And as you can see, I used bigger tape and I went again, uh, I went horizontally with the patterning on the dress. And I liked it, it's just... I wanted to do one for Sakura, and I thought the stars really worked well. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, and it helped some of you, maybe. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!